Hello everybody and welcome to a little live, a little kind of makeup, feeling joyful live. You might have woken up today feeling flat, wishing you were on holiday. You could be anywhere in the world and I don't know how you're feeling today. I woke up feeling a bit flat, but I woke up with tremendous excitement because we launched Gaia today, which is one of our golden glows. It's that mid golden glow shade that many people have been waiting for, especially me, because on certain days I would mix up our, our um, Genster and Swala to create what is Gaia. So, oh, yes, um, I've got no makeup on. And I thought what I would do is do a look, show you how I do it and... Um, and show you some really nice summer looks as well, because I don't do that so much live on um, on Trini Woodall. I do it more on Trini London. And there's I've got a whole array. Let me just show you my pots I've got lined up here. Look at those lovely lined up pots, just ready to roll. Um, so, you know, normally I would say, um, you know, that we would all might be out and about getting lovely colour and we've had very good weather in England. But I think we're of an age now where many people realise that actually wearing an SPF is more important than getting a tan because a long term damage isn't great. But having the joy of having a colour when you want in your face and not is what I prefer and what I've grown to love. I had years in my 20s where I was under sunbeds. I did tremendous fake tan. I boiled myself on tin foil with olive oil to get the right colour. And I did a large amount of sun damage. And when I was in my 40s, I actually put those things down and I picked up um, just having bronzers. And I started with powder bronzers. And I loved a powder bronzer because it gave me immediate colour. But when they first came out, they were rather orange. And when I created Trini London, I wanted to have a bronzer that you didn't feel was on your skin. So I created Golden Glow and we had two shades, but we've introduced the third shade. So I'm just gonna show you the whole lineup, okay? We have Genster, we have Gaia, and we have Swala. And Gaia is our new friend today. So I'm gonna start putting Gaia on. I've got Hannah here as well. Hannah, are you there? I'm here. She's there. Fantastic. And Hannah's going to also take questions. So if you've got questions for me, I'm going to answer questions too. So when I start, you can either put Gaia on a totally clean, fresh face, or you can put a BFF on first. So if I was going to do a regular day, I would do my BFF first. So I'm going to do BFF in, where is my BFF? In light, because I'm that um, lacking in sun right now and a tiny bit of light medium mixed together but I am generally light so that gives me my SPF protection all right I've been vigorously rubbing my face today too because I want to get some life and color back into it but then you could put on just a touch and it goes very well over just a touch so I could be putting on a bit of just a touch here um, just put a little tiny bit on um, and also I've gone down a little bit to Zandy I mean I'm just my skin is but much, much lighter than it would normally be on a summer. Because even though I wear SPF, I get a bit of colour. And then Gaia goes on. When you put on bronzer, um, it's really important to think where the sun hits you. And that's what I do when I start. So I think, where's my most bony bit? That's where the sun hits me here, my nose and my cheekbones. Just feel your bones. You can all do this with me. Feel your bones. Feel your cheekbones. This is something you can use to contour, but I'm using it just to look like I've been on holiday because I'm so desperate. Can you hear the desperation in my voice? To be on holiday. I really am. I'm really feeling that right now. I'm just like, we've had three months, a hundred and something days, and I'm just like, God, I, I'm my face in need of a holiday. So I'm just going to start off. I'm going to tap it on those areas, which are my boniest, like that. You can use a brush or your fingers. I'm going to show you both. And then I just blend it in from that point around the rest of my forehead. The joy between this and a fake tan is you're going to be able to, you know, not have that dense color um, on your hairline. I'm just doing a live bunny. You can come in and say hi. Come in and say hi. Are you with Maddie? Yeah. Oh, you can both come in. I got Maddie and Lila turning up. That's going to make us feel better, isn't it? So... We can do all of them. Is Maddie here? Will she come in the live? Maddie, will you, Maddie, will you come in the live? I'm just finishing off showing. I'll put it on my cheekbones here like that. So already I'm looking better. Look, there's Maddie. All three different skin tones. We haven't got every skin tone here, but we got <laughs> we got a few. So Maddie, darling, you're peaches and cream, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Have you got makeup on? You've got tan on. 
Yeah. Maddie's no, turned. Maddie is turned. Maddie is actually turned. I'm not having to turn around and see she's got a turn. And leave me be, girls. But Lila, you have Gaia on, don't you? I have a lot of Gaia on. You have a lot of Gaia on. Come close to the camera so they can see. There you are. <laughs> and you can see all of that there is Gaia. It's not Lila's um it's not Lila's turn. It's what she'd like to do in the sun. And same with Lila, I just rub it on in the middle and I draw it out. But a really lovely looking tan. You happy? Come for you, rub it in. And then okay. Yes. You go like this. She's gonna tell me what to do now. She's gonna and tell so me what to do. Yeah. Makes you look really sun kissed. Sun kissed. Yes. And then <laughs> you're putting underneath your. Why do you put it, Lila, underneath there? Because that's where you tan the most. That's when you go like a little like brown. You do. Well, I would say it'd be more here. No. Okay, that's no, fine. Look, I literally have... look like I've been in the sun. You do look like you've been in the sun. We all have our different way of doing it. I rejoice the way you do it, darling. It's artistic. It's artistic. <laughs> it's artistic. Maddie, do you want to be a bit more? So Maddie, now come here, Mads. So Maddie's already tanned. So I would probably put Swala on Maddie um, because you can just see the difference. So if I put Swala on Maddie, that'd be lovely. <laughs> One second, let me blend, blend it in, it. Lila. I'm going to blend it in. <sighs> but I'm just showing them. She's got the, Maddie has skin like a sponge. It's so soft. I know. But look, there's she Maddie, just got a little bit more color. Sand. All right, girls, let me get on. You're gonna put, you're gonna take me off my track and I need to be on track. I need to be on track. All right, I love you too. Bye, bye. Okay, bye girls, have a nice time. Bye. Where was I? I'm gonna show you something else that I love that we've done. Um, do you know how often, even if you do match me on Trinity London, sometimes you think to yourself, what color do I suit? And it's so personal, that choice. So I'm gonna show what we, what we did because I'm really proud of it. And I'm really proud of the work the team did to get there. We first of all show you before and afters. And I think there aren't many places when I look at color online and I think, what was she looking like before? They just show the after. So on this, like if we look at Gaia here, there's lovely Gina, no, sorry, Gaia. Um, and you can just see peaches and cream skin before, peaches and cream skin after. Um, and then we can go down to um, pale olive before and pale olive skin tones after. And then we got Ali Bailey and she is light tan before, light tan after. So that's really great. You can look in the three ones and think, are you Swala, Gaia or Jenster? But down here, we've got this chart. And what this chart does is if you don't do match me and you just want to go and see which color should I be we show Flora so Flora has real porcelain skin you've seen her lots of the times on our pictures so there's Flora before and there's Flora in Genster and there's Flora in Gaia so you can just see the depth of tan you could get if you're that skin tone and it just goes down we go peach and cream light um who can wear Genster and Gaia and then you go down a few more like Ali Bailey can wear all those four colors and it shows the depth of her tan as she goes into those four colors. And then we go down to caramel and we just show Swala. So before, that's without Swala and then after with Swala. There's one for everyone. Um, but I just want to do more like that online because I think it really helps people to uh, understand what to use. So when I'm doing a bronze look, let's just talk about summer looks that make us feel on holiday. So I'm gonna put a bit more Gaia on because I really want to look like I've just come back from a week in Greece and I've worn SPF 50 on my face, but I've had sneaky moments. Let's say I've been on a boat and the wind has been rushing and you just feel that sense, even if you wear SPF, that you, you know when you feel you've been on holiday, don't you? Because you feel rested and there it is. So that is such a vast improvement from when we started this film. Now, when I am a little bit tanned, I do change my makeup choices. I don't know if you do, but if I were to go towards the new Mother Earth, um, oh, let me, sorry, let me just swatch those because you just all asked me to swatch this and I'll go on to my look. Um, so here is Jenster. Jenster, named after my lovely Jenny, a friend of mine I've known since she was about 20. I even I introduced her to her husband, Ryan. That's Jenster. And then we have Gaia, and Gaia is the lady who leads on our um, um, new um, makeup uh, NPD, new product development. She's Italian, and she's got that sort of like uh, olive skin that in the winter she feels she goes green. Um, there's Gaia. And then we have Suala, which is a fabulous girl who at the very beginning of Trinity London worked in the tech company that we work with to build the site. and um, And, she just that 
reminds me of her. So there's the three shades for you. Um, okay, now. Let me just see questions here. Hello, Christelle. How are you, darling? You know, for ladies who don't go out much, great to get some colour. A little bit of colour. Um, hello, darling. Hello, Earl Grey T. Um, would I travel or staying put? I just don't know. I don't know. I've got a last minute moment of shall I go to Spain on Monday because I just feel so desperately in need of a holiday. But I also feel so desperate not to do anything that causes... Um, risk to myself or to those people I live with. So, you know, it's very, very tricky. Um, very tricky. Um, so, um, oh, sweet, yes. Oliver saying, I have more plastic on my face than the ocean. Oh, Oliver, how nice of you to say that, darling. Just to come on somebody's feed and just to be, just to do, say what you want to say. Um, <laughs> um, does it have a shimmer to it? It doesn't. It's got... Um, you know, if you want to do shimmer, this is what I do if you want a bit of shimmer. So it's just, it's what I call, it's not matte matte, but it's just a, it's a gel. So imagine when you put a gel on your face, what it does, but you can see up close, this is, I'm very shiny because I did a lot of exfoliation on my face, but here you can just see that. If I wanted to make it a little bit more shimmery, this is my trick. So I take either starlight or sunlight and I mix it up. So I might then take, if I wanted to have that real bronzy glow, I'd take sunlight, which is a little bit um, warmer, and I'd mix it together with it. And you get that kind of, that shimmery look. So um, let me just put that with the Gaia, like that, those two together. And I usually just go from pot to pot. And then I just sort of plump up the glow. There. And it just gives, a little added dimension. So if you do like that look, you can easily get it by mixing it with sunlight or starlight. There. Just gives that kind of, yeah, it gives buoyancy. That's what I would describe. On my forehead, what I did it, no, because I love to have shine here. And I don't, you know, on the forehead, I'll probably have a little bit less. Um, if I did it with sunlight, which is our paler shade there, and Gaia, I'll put the sunlight first. So I'd go like mushing like that with my finger, then I do a little bit of Gaia, and then I just go over my cheek and take it up to over my cheekbone. And then I might go with the starlight and put that over. And that gives you that really pretty sunless glow like that. I'm feeling better already, can I just say? Whoosh, it's all it needs. Um, all it needs sometimes is a little bit of makeup to um, get you feeling better. Um, you've got your virtual point, brilliant. Um, oh, darling. And I'll tell you what, you live in New York. John Barrett, which is 36 East 57th Street, has our products. So you could go there and try them. Um, you need more models with darker skin tones using the products so we can see what it's like on non-white skin. Venus, if you look on Trini London, there's lots. I am, you know, it's, it's my brand, so I can't give you different skin tones. But on the site, we have many different skin tones. We have, in fact, 85 different skin tones on the site. So do have a look. And I'm sure if you do match to me, you'll find one which is close to your skin tone. I have my top made by a Susanna. It was taken from an old design of a um, one from Zara in orange that I sometimes wear. And I had this fabric from India and I got, I'm, I'm got it made up. Um, okay, I'm now going to do, because I need this for me, you just have to be patient with me, all right? I will save the live, don't worry. Trini Tribe, you want to join a Trini Tribe, you just go on to trinilondon.com and you go down to the bottom, it will say Trini Tribe, a little underlined thing. Click on there and it shows you every um, direct link to the ones near you that you would want to join. So, just a touch concealer colour do I use. I use, um, I use um, Trintron. Um, Trintron. I call it Trintron? No, what am I talking about? Yeah, Trintron. Trintron. So if I'm using this with Trintron, I'd say actually I am still Trintron. I put Zandy on earlier thinking I was nearly Zandy, but I think I am actually Trintron. Still Trintron. And if I go, if I did get tanned in the summer, I would probably go up to Amelia, which is the next um, shade up. Um, does pepper and salt hair change the colour game? Um, I would say if you've got salt and pepper hair, you go on to Match To Me and there will, it will say there when you click on hair, 
do you have salt and pepper hair? So it is listed there. And when we do match to me, we take many configurations of skin hair and eye, one of which would be salt and pepper with all different skin tones. And we come up with your preferred choice. So for now, I'm going to use a bit of the Mother Earth collection. I don't know how many of you have got that yet, but just to give my summary shade on the eye. So there's Mother Earth like that. Hang on, there's all of Mother Earth if you didn't get there yet. Just the most beautiful shade all year round, but especially now if we want to do this sort of sun-kissed look. And I'm going to start off, I'll do a tiny bit of truth, and I'll just do that underneath the brow of my eye, like that, just a little bit, just to give some shading, but not to be with shimmer. And it also works incredibly well. So I'm tan, so there's that ethereal sort of similarness in colour. Then I might do a little bit of courage, just here on the inner corner of my eye and bring it out and with that turquoise quite fab actually like that and then blend a little blending and then I might take a little bit of um, hope and just put it right in the corner of my eye because I need to open up my eye today because I've been feeling a bit tired and that will just open up the corner of my eye and makes my eyes sparkle I won't use mascara i'm just going to use some conditioning gel because the lashes are sort of growing very happily on their own but i will consider if i'm doing this quite natural look what kind of um lip i would do with it and i just want to keep that um kind of tonality i might go straight to myco which is our sort of summery wash of a sort of shimmer orangey gorgeousness like that there and then just because it's sheer shimmer and it goes on the lips and cheeks I'll just do a little bit and that continues that journey of that lovely shimmer which I've done with the starlight and the Gaia and then I'm just adding that mico in the middle so that for me is a look which makes me feel summer is here and I feel sun kissed okay but sometimes we want to up the ante so I'm going to show you some upping of the ante um and just answer some questions dream holiday destination um Probably it would be Italy. I love Italy so much. And the, um, my, my bestest friend, um, Charles, uh, loves Italy and, and we go there every summer. So at some stage, I'd really um, like to go to Italy. Um, is Gaia hydrating or would you wear it over BFF? I would say that if you wear it on its own, it's definitely not drying. It has in it some, some moisturizing factors in there, but it's not a moisturizer. This is a, a makeup product. But I have worn it, you know, when I've just done my normal skincare routine and then I've just worn it by itself and it works really well. It doesn't drag. It just, it goes in beautifully. So if I show you on just my, you know, hang on, where's Gaia now? I've just picked up Swala. Um, there's Gaia there. So if I just put it, you know, into my skin here, you know, like that, you can just see it just really goes in well. It doesn't drag. It just blends into the skin like that. Got it? Great. Um, what was the new teen skincare range you mentioned yesterday? It's a brand called P... Oh my God, it's Allies of Skin's cheaper range. PSA, maybe? PSA? I think PSA. Uh, but I, Lila's been trying it, so we're going to um, find out. Trini Tribe in Houston? I don't know if we have one yet. Um, there's going to be somebody in Houston going to be awfully mad at me. But I think we have... We have East Coast, West Coast. Um, we have one that does include Houston because I'm remembering actually a woman in the Trinity Tribe who's in Houston. So go on and you'll find it um, there. Um, and um, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, you love Swala, but you don't know which eye to eye to use with it. Yes, well, it depends on your skin, hair and eye because Swala is your bronzer. So it just depends. Do you like warmer shades or cooler shades? But if you want that sun-kissed look and you are a darker skin shade and you want to have more kind of a sort of slightly brighter eye or an eye that shows up more, you could go for something like Queen, which is really pretty. Um, I can just put some over or should I actually let me just take a bit of this off and then I can show you Queen. But I do love, if I'm doing that real tonal makeup, I do love to use Queen there, which is slightly different from our Mother Earth shades because there's a depth to Queen um, that verges on that sort of gilded, greeny, goldy orangeness, like that. 
but that can look really pretty if you suit Swala and it goes into your eye. It, it goes with your match to me. That's queen. Um, I'm going to have 19 shades on by the time I finish this. Um, um, I don't know. Pia Trini, let him get lost. Oh, Pia, I don't know where he is. Just somebody report him and it will go. Um, that'll be fine. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We've got more things in life to worry about. What's the best skincare routine for going through the menopause? There's many, and I've done a lot of things for um, the menopause. So look on to Trini London and um, go to the blog, and you'll see I've done lots of chats with Shabir about menopause and products to use, and I've done um, I've done um, ones on my Fab Four. I did some really good all-in-one serums, and one of them is amazing for menopause. Um, PSA Beauty, thank you so much. Um, virtue and works fine. That's gorgeous. Um, who will be my guest on my next live? I've got two guests um, coming up and I am going to do something else with, um, with uh, Julia Hunter because we're going to do, we did sensitive skin and we did menopausal skin and we're going to do acne next. So that will be probably one of them. Um, um, recommendation for early skincare in mid twenties. The range I just mentioned from Allies of Skin, I think, is going to be very good. I think Dr. Sam Bunting is great, um, and I think that Dermalogica is good too. Um, I use uh, Just Touch in Trintron. Um, very, very easy to blend. Yes, um, virtual appointments. They are up we had sold out fully we have more up now virtual appointments are kind of brilliant because we have about 15 makeup artists who were working in store and they're really amazing makeup artists and you book a virtual appointment on trini london and then they take you through your match to me they take you through the shades they teach you techniques you know there's many years i did the same technique and then i woke up and thought, actually, I need to move on or I need to look at the my, my face has changed shape or my eye is droopy. And it just gives you a new lease of life, whether it's in your 20s, 30s, 40s or 50s. I think every 10 years we need to redress how we put our makeup on. And so they, they give you a whole 45 minutes and you go through everything um, and it's redeemable gets purchased. So do book up because they we just released more and they do go very quickly. Um, Jean, that's very sweet for you to say because I was feeling so flat today. I can't tell you. I really was. Um, I wear Gaia over BFF um, and Gaia does not have SPF. It is a gel, but um, just a, uh, um, but BFF is SPF 30. Um, please, can you be a Trini agent in Cape Town? You know what, darling? We all we ship worldwide. We ship to, I think, 62 countries now. So you can order and get it delivered to Cape Town. Um, you're booked in to come for an appointment in September. Salt Vicky, I would check with customer service because um, we do have in store, but um, I don't know if your experience might be better if you change it to a virtual appointment because in store you can't really try on product. You can see product, but the experience is not the same. So I will check that. It's a very interesting question because we just opened um, the store again, um, the, the three Venix stores, and I'm not sure if we're doing appointments there. I will find out though. Somebody, Hannah, can you find that out now? Hannah? Yeah. yeah. Will you email Leslie and say, if somebody's got an appointment booked in store, are we still doing them? Yeah, I'll email yeah. them. How would I describe Swala, Genst, Gaia in terms of cool, neutral and warm? I would say that when you're looking at um, Genster, Genster is a more sort of yellow undertone. It, it's kind of, yeah, that's the only way I can describe it. It's like the lightest kind of caramel, all right? Um, and when you look at Gaia, I find it quite neutral for undertones. Um, so it kind of works on many, many undertones. Um, it is very neutral. Swala is warm because the deeper uh, shades your skin are, generally they would fall into the dark tans or the caramels. And so you need that underlying warmth when you add color to it. You don't want it to be cool and gray looking. Um, so yes, I would say slightly yellow undertony, neutral undertony, warm undertony. But it also depends on the depth of color that you want to get in your skin. Um, Love my prods, you're on 15 pots and counting. Mrs. Rushforth, my goodness gracious, how wonderful. Um, your face, wow, that's so lovely. Um, uh, just a touch in live, it is. I mean, all of our just a touches, 
you know, when I was developing Just a Touch, which is our foundation concealer, I really wanted something that you would build up and you wouldn't see it on your skin, but it would cover. Um, would I use a blusher? Yes, I would. So let me just dial back down the Myco and show you what I would do. So let's take that off. And let's say I just going to get, I'm going to go myself more tanned and I'm going to show you this time with a brush because you can use with your fingers or with a brush. But if I use with a brush, you get a more sort of buffed in look. So, you know, I can go like this and really buff it in like that. So doing it with brush, but try and start on the place again where you're going to feel the sun hits you first and then to go gently around, gently, that's a word I never use, around the eye area there. And also the nose. Don't forget the nose because you know what? Our nose always goes a bit browner. So look there, it's getting really nice colour now. And some people do prefer using a brush. Lila loves to use a brush. I use both. So I've got that there and I'm thinking to myself, would I have now a, bron a, um, a blusher? I would. What blusher would I use? It depends what I'm wearing. Um, if I wanted to go on one side, I'll do cooler and the other side, I'll do warmer. So if it's summer, I do love a bit of Pia. Pia is our lip to cheek. It's this very um, cool shade and you can build it up or down. So I'm going to just put a little bit here, there, and just blend it out. You're, you know you're wearing the right bronzer when it doesn't fight with the colour of your blusher. So if my bronzer was too warm, I wouldn't then be able to wear Pia. So that's why I know this really works for me. So it doesn't kind of go mad and say, ooh, that doesn't look good together. And then I could do here a little bit of, I just do one side because I'm going to do the other side something else. A little Pia. And I might put over it, let me just put a tiny bit of Dido like that. So that look looks very, it works really well with the, um, bronzer, especially if you are sort of neutral or cooler toned skin, hair and eye combination. Now on this side, I'm going to go warmer. So I'm going to take VB. VB is our lip cheek out of stock. I'm really sorry to use something that's out of stock, which is just frustrating for you, but I just, um, it's a good example. So if I take VB, I'll just put that this time. I'm going to use a brush. You can use a, your cheeks or a brush and I buff that in and that really acts as a extension of that bronzer and I'm going to take it up I use this differently so I'm going to take it up and blend it into the bronzer even more and as it's a color you build up that works well and then on my lips like that and tonally you get that sort of warmer combination or cooler. And if I was amping up the um, VB on my lip, I would then add a little Myco like that. Okay. Warmer, cooler. <laughs> I feel like that, you know, I feel like a doppelganger, whatever, what are they called? Um, uh, let me know how you send to South Africa as we're trying to, and we're told to wait. I mean, I've got to say that I feel that we do ship South Africa. So I'm really surprised. Hannah, yeah. whilst you're there, darling, will you also check, but I know we ship to South Africa because I know people in South Africa who have our product. So I just want to know that better. Yeah, I'll check that now. Yeah, we're just going to check that now. There's nothing like Hannah being on the end of the line to check things out for us. So I can continue to talk to you. So there. Going back now, what other look would you like to see? Would you like to see me going browner with Swala? So if I wanted to be more tanned, I'm now going to put on Swala. So there, buffing up Swala into it, like I've really been now to India, beautiful India. And I've stayed out in the sun and I've lived in Goa actually for three weeks now. <laughs> and I haven't used, and I haven't used um, sunblock. I mean, that's like, you know, when you feel you've got the tan, you don't need any other makeup. That's kind of how that makes me feel. I'm <laughs> wearing Gaia now, wearing um, Swala now. There. And then I'd probably put on with that, I might do a bit of Mama. It is our lovely sheer shimmer in a sort of tomato. It's like Sweeney. If you really love Sweeney, love Mama. Like that. 
And then I'll just put a little bit of that just to show you with a slightly redder blusher. How that looks. There. Now I've just been on the chaise lawn and I'm relaxed and I feel great. <laughs> I feel like I should put on a bikini with you ladies. Um, ah, great. Um, what would be the next deeper pink shade from Lady J? Well, if you want to look at a lip to cheek, I know I've got to take it off because I want to show you, I want to satisfy everyone's needs. Let me just do that. And I can also actually tone it down and I could go back and show you Genster. But um, I would say Lady J is a really pretty soft pink. And if you want to go up one, you could go to Schmuggy. So I'm going to show you Schmuggy. Just put that. Take that down, taking that down. Very easy to come off, as you can see. Really easy to come off the face there. And I'll put a little bit of BFF on. Where are we? Hang on, sicky, ticky, wicky, sicky, ticky, wicky. BFF. Oh, no, that's not BFF. No, 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 no. Need the glasses on, ladies. There we go. Put one on. Hannah, any questions whilst I'm faffing? Who was asking what made you create the Gaia shade? Because I was, um, I, I find that I can wear all three shades. Um, and there were times I'd wear Genster and there are times I'll wear Swala, but there were lots of times when I mixed Genster and Swala because I wanted that sort of in between. And then I just kept mixing and mixing. And then I said to MPD, actually, I want to make this mid shade. So that's how we came up with it. Um, and, and, from there it was history so um you are currently in a bit of lady j and you're thinking you might want to go to a slightly deeper shade so just for people who don't know what lady j looks like lady j is a really pretty lip to cheek which on the cheeks like that on the lips for me it's quite pale and if i want to do a real nude i could do it but it will slightly you know i'd probably put on top of that bunny there but that's how light it is so what I adore to do to get that depth on my lip is I secretly use a bit of schmuggy and this is a trick that lots of um long-term Trini London um fans do and that if I look at there's Lady J and there's um schmuggy and I'm also going to, because we're here now, so we can show you all the naughty tricks. I'm also going to take and show you these because they're all a variation on a theme and it will give you an idea of, there we go. So these are our sort of nudier shades like that. So if we look like this, let me just put it in. Let me put it in the order I want to show you. So there's that, that's okay. So lip to cheek is Lady J. Schmuggy is a flush blush, but you can secretly wear it on your lips. Eugenie is um, my go-to nude, and Suze is a slightly cooler nude. So if you wanted to have one up, you could go and do a bit of Eugenie on your lip. Like that, there. And on the cheek, you can just put on the cheek, it's a cooler shade than Lady J like that all right there got it then schmuggy which is the flush blusher which lots of people secretly put on their lip is a very nice slightly darker than a nude it's sort of in a way i think the word nude is a really it's not a great word i think the word neutral is a better word when you when you think about things like this so when i want a lip that says nothing because the eyes are saying everything is when i want to wear my most neutral lip and for me i will wear eugenie or i might wear schmuggy but that gives a tiny bit more color than if i just wore eugenie there that is schmuggy flush blush and then on the cheeks over everything else. You can kind of see what it's like. Okay, um, next question. Yes. Next question is from Mrs. Gannon, and she's asking, who is Gaia named after? Gaia is named after our lovely Italian um, lead in new product development in makeup. And she, um, we stole her from, um, 
from, we didn't steal her. She very, very, we were very happy she came to join us from a lab in Italy. And um, we're very, very um, happy she's a part of the team. And when I looked at Gaia, you know, having to leave the lovely sunny Italy and, and come to live in rainy England, I thought it was quite nice also that she could have her little pot of colour when she misses Italy the most. Um, how do I keep my trainers white? I use SIF, which is that product that you use for your bathroom and for your sinks. And I always think it works great for white trainers. Um, what's your recommendation for what to do after you've been crying? Puffy eyes always feel like I need some extra care. Darling, oh, I would say, first of all, about crying, that as much as when we cry, we look in the mirror and think we look a wreck of the Hesperus. Crying relieves stress, and sometimes we need a good cry. You know, like half an hour before I did this live, I thought I wouldn't mind a good cry. Because sometimes we just need it. So when you look in the mirror, what you could do is get a little facial oil and just kind of say, Okay, we had the tears, we got the emotion out, and then just start to do some drainage. Because when you cry, you get puffy because there's a lot of, um, you know, you're, you're doing this and I don't know why we get puffy. I think it's just a strain, isn't it, of, of that emotion, everything coming out. But it does help just to do that lymphatic. So that's kind of starting at your chin and going up to lymph nodes here. So any puffiness in the face is because your lymph nodes are blocked. So if you're overproducing stuff from crying, maybe it's getting a bit blocked in this channel. But to get to this channel, you need to start on the jawline. So you take your finger continuously on and you go down to your clavicle, which is just there, that little bit, and then you release it. What that does is it gets some movement of the lymphatic moving again like that. And after you've been crying, it's really good to nurture yourself, you know and to touch your skin and don't put sort of ice on and extreme things. You want to be cosy. And then you can go up a little bit more after you've done that about five or six times and you're just draining away the fluid, draining away the stress, draining away the tension. And then you can go up here and do little circular motions and that releases those lymph nodes a little bit too. That helps. I always find, funny enough, when I do this, when I'm stressed, it sounds the oddest thing, but I always just do this and I'm sort of releasing those lymph nodes and it just does a release. Also good just to, you know, we get our jaw very tense. Maybe before those tears, you were really tense in your jaw. So just, you know, do that either side, keep going down, continuous motion like that. And then by the time you've done this, this is now clear. So you can then go up here like that and then continuous motion and down and it will slowly unblock and you will get less puffy. Um, I just think that's a kinder way than sort of putting ice cubes or something on your eyes. Um, what age do you start skincare routine? I would say the age where you feel you want to start looking after your skin. For so some people that's 16, for some people that's 50. You know, it's never too late. Um, and it is sometimes too early because I think there are some ladies who might say, my 12 year old, you know, what can you recommend? And I'm like, mm, just clean your skin well. Great for now, honey. Cleaning your skin well and not getting too burnt in the sun would be my choices. Um, yes, yeah, so so there's no perfect answer for that. It's when you feel you would like to do more for your skin. Um, do I use BFF then, additional sunscreen over the top when spending a long period of time outdoors? I do. What I'll do is, I haven't got it here, is if I'm doing, um, if I'm going out to my BFF again sorry if I'm going out to really strong sun I'll probably put my BFF on like this and then leave it you know sort of five minutes and then I'll put on S sorry no I totally let's start that again I will start with my SPF 50 I love HelioCare put that on wait a few minutes for it sinking then I might put my BFF over the top treating it with you know, that it's going to give that glow, it's going to just cover imperfections, and it will be the thing I'll put on over SPF. Um, and then in the day, if you're topping up, just top up on top of the BFF, it's fine. Um, but I do think if you're in a proper strong holiday sun, I mean, I have been on a boat and just used BFF, but I've used like four pumps, because there's a, a, a very important thing that you're 
you know, if you're really in strong sun, you need to make sure have you got enough on. So if I'm in everyday sun in England, just doing a one pump, no, two pumps is what I do, is perfect. But if I'm in strong sun, I will probably do four pumps. Um, you're practicing. I'm so happy you're practicing. Um, what would your start up essentials for a new stack? Okay, so let's say you're a new stacker. Okay, what are you going to get if you're a new stacker? Uh, and many people might make a suggestion here, but I would say to start with a BFF, okay? Because your BFF comes with its own teapot. So you'll never be without your stack. So you start in a way you're getting two products for the price of one. So I always like decant. That is literally more than a week's supply of BFF. So that's like the beginning of my stack and that stays at home. That's it. Then I'd probably say that I would do a lip to cheek because it's multi-purpose. And if I do something like, you know, if I take VB, which we were looking at earlier somewhere, let me find it, VB, I'll put this on everywhere. You know, I'll put it on my cheeks. I'll put it on my lip. And I'll put it on my eye because the color for me, I love just that real light wash. So three products in one makes me feel, yeah, that works for me. And then I'll probably get a really good sort of neutral eye. Um, and it depends on your match to me what that might be. If I just say for the purpose of this, I might do mystery, which has a little bit of shimmer in it. So if I'm mixing that with one of the um, lip to cheeks that happens to work on an eye as well, it will fit in well and just give me an added dimension. And on its own, it's obviously beautiful. So it's just an easy eye that you can build up there that's three products now if you have so you could do that that is like your face you can run out doors and and have enough but probably I love shimmer so I would add on a sheer shimmer and I'm just going to show you bunny so to sort of amp up the whole look I'd then put bunny on in the middle here and then I'll put bunny over the um the um, VB just to give that real sort of cheek that looks like it's got a very good skincare routine and then I'll even secretly put some bunny on top here and it sort of just freshens up my makeup through the day so would I say that's my starter stack that could be my starter stack there I'm just trying to <laughs> I'm trying to find it all of this a lid there so there that is what I start with BFF that it counts into that lip to cheek an eye and a sheer shimmer and then if you're going on from that I would consider very strongly BFFI because I think a lot of women feel tired and it's just that immediate cleaning up under your eye moment you know and when you do do um, when I invented BFFI I wanted to have a concealer that had a baby with a serum so there's very nice active skincare ingredients in including vitamin C hyaluronic acid two size molecules and some peptides and the pigment that we use for BFFI is incredibly finely milled so you, it doesn't crease ever and it gives you a really fresh look under your eye and I think that's where a lot of women always go I'm very tired don't forget if you're very tired also go in there because that's an area we never think about take your concealer down to here don't stick up there because you just want to have it gliding into the color of your skin and it should sort of be the color of your skin it's by far the most effective way to get rid of under eye is not to try and go a shade lighter because that won't cover. And also it then gives a lack of connection between the rest of your makeup and your under eye. I think we just got so used to that because when um, you know under eyes came out in the 80s, it was like Touche Eclat was one of the first ones. And it was one shade. I say this often, but it was literally one shade. And so we all did the same shade, whatever our skin tone was. And that's why I think women got used to the idea of, you know, this lighter under eye. And that's not really what brings your face together. Um, yeah. OK, any other last? I'm going to do the last three questions. Um, the connection is awful, keeps going in and out. Does it keep going in and out of focus for other people? Oh, it seems fine to me. No, I think it could be... Um, uh, so there's Crystal. Um, I have the Mother Earth colours. Can I combine them with a cool blush like Pia? I would say that Pia and Mother Earth, I would do... I'd be more inclined, if I was doing a um, sort of Mother Earth 
moment with Pia. I'm just going to show that for Crystal because Crystal's a very special woman and um, I'm going to just show her. So, um, let's say with Mother Earth and Pia, if I look at courage, it's very warm, but if I look at fortitude and Pia, I think great relationships. So I'd be inclined to say, let me put a little Pia on my lip like that and on my cheek there and then I'm going to take a tiny wash of fortitude on my eye so fortitude at its most see-through is that wash of a little bit of depth which is stronger than peer but not killing it's not they aren't killing each other um but I could do that there building it up still good now, one little trick you could also do, and this is like a fun, naughty thing, is you take Pia, quite strong, there, and you think, is fortitude still, is that still working? But then you just bring them together a bit, so get a tiny bit of fortitude and just go like that, on top of your Pia. And now you have that relationship. So when you feel something's getting too cool and you have something too warm on, there is a reason we do match me because we suggest your sort of which colors you suit. But there are tricks that you can bring a whole look together. And that's, that's one that I do quite a lot <laughs> when I'm mixing things and wanting to show you lots of things. Because I have quite a neutral skin, hair and eye combination. So I can probably wear the broadest range. And some people sit much warmer and some people sit much cooler. Um, but I hope that helped, Crystal. And gives you some inspiration of a little new way to wear um, Pia. Um, uh, you had a good cry on the way home yesterday from work. Life is stressful night now. Hugs to everyone. I've used Pericone, um, but I haven't used it again. Um, do I think, by the way, the lady who just said she had a good cry. Sorry, let me go back there because I'm just being um, Amanda. Yes, I think acknowledging when we just feel flat or low and letting it out is by far the best way than holding it in. I think that's that jet, what I'm going to take from that um, and good to share because sometimes we think we're the only ones who might get upset on something it's just to realize a lot of people around you might be feeling the same um do i think at home microcurrent devices really work yes i do i love them but i think you need to continue to use them that's the trick um you had a very bad facial scar after removing the tumor i need good coverage could you recommend something i have to say darling that um just a touch is brilliant for that and I'm going to show you a little trick because if you have a scar and if the scar has healed then I would consider a little magic here and I'm going to do the combination of the two where is Trintron now I've lost Trintron totally lost Trintron I have it and I've lost it okay I'll tell you so miracle blur first on where you have your scar so maybe I've got a little scar in here but you put that on first and you fill in your scar, okay? There. I'm just gonna get carried away now because like all my little pitting around my um, chin area, I like to cover up with Miracle Blur. That will fill in and cover up sort of scarring. I've had a woman who had a, scar a gash on her um, forehead she'd had for years and I filled it in with Miracle Blur. Um, and you know, it just, it is brilliant for that. And then over, you can put your um, just a touch and it will really cover come on let me just see if I've got it here For some reason I've lost my foundation um, which is it here nope it's not nope it's not okay I'm gonna have to do Zandy which is too pale okay so then I'll put it on top tap it in and then distribute it with your next finger, you know, just go in and it really will cover everything. And you can keep adding on and then blending out. So you could just keep going like that and you just tap where you need the most coverage, just dab it and then around the edges, blend. This is a shade lighter than my shade, by the way, this is Andy. It is fantastic. I and mean, we've had women who've had really really bad rosacea totally cover it um and it's you know when i was doing the formulation for this i wanted something that you could put into your skin and it would literally it would cover let me just i don't know what i can cover 
for a vein. I mean, it might be a little bit, but I can't think. So, you know, here's my So I'll just put that on. You know? Blah. See? Gives you an idea. Um, what is my opinion on face powder SPFs? I've never been one to want to wear powders on my face. So I know there's all the like the Jane Airedale mineral ones and things. And I think you either love them or you don't. And I, I don't because I've just never been somebody who's been into powders because I think they layer on my skin and some of them are beautifully finely milled and can be amazing. But for me, it hasn't been um, as good as where as doing cream base. And that's why I sort of decided that all the products should be cream base. Um, do I have any foundation on my face now? I do have here, because I just put it on, but otherwise I have on BFF, and I just put the under eye concealer on, but this doesn't have foundation on it. Um, can I mix Trini products with powder-based eyeshadows or blusher? You can. Um, I would say do the cream base first and put the powder on top. I wouldn't do the powder and then put the cream base on top. What treatments would I recommend for hormonal breakouts on the neck and the lower face each month. My daughter is 30, not on the pill and has a good diet. I mean, I would kind of consider what you could be ingesting. So there's a very good product from Viridian or another label I get on Victoria Health called Clear Skin. And it's got burdock root and zinc in it. So zinc reduces inflammation and burdock root um, kind of detoxifies. So that combination is very good. Um, if it's monthly breakout, it's hormonal, but it still is an inflammation of the skin. So reducing inflammation should help it. And I would start to attack it from that. And maybe like when, I mean, the time when you have your periods, the time you want most sugar. But if there's any way she could just do a test that when she's going through that next time, if she just cuts sugar out for a few days and just sees, does that make a difference? Because it will trigger more inflammation on your skin the more sugar you eat. I'm two days off sugar now and it's killing me but I want to try it again. Um, oh, we're nearly at the end here. Um, you got your first stack yesterday, the Little Bow Factory, amazing. Got Pia and Cordy, which are lovely, looking for something less pinky peachy for the cheeks. Any suggestions? I have blue eyes, warm blonde um, thing and neutral. I would say go for Lady J. It's a beautiful neutral shade for the cheek. And it's got a, a little bit of pink in it, but it's more dusky whereas Pia is brighter and cooler, and Cordy is, is pinkier. Pink, pinkier. Um, yes, um, hello, Cara, Egypt. Do I like a Baji? I do like some Baji products. I use them a lot. They're vitamin C when I was in a, an initial journey of vitamin C, and I did do that two-week program, which was, or a month program, which was to help pigmentation. It really helped. So I have used good products from Obagi in the past. Then he left Obagi, and he started his own brand, um, Oz or whatever, I can't remember what's called now, getting mad. But that also has two or three products I really like. Um, Elena Singapore, Trini, love the products. BFF is everyone, is, is everyone, is everyone. Trini and team, so late in Singapore. Where am I? Is there a way to catch up on live videos? Um, on, if you are, I'm gonna, can I just give a quick education to those of you who don't really perhaps know IGTV? Because I think it's helpful, because IGTV can be really like, how does it work? So let's say you're on Instagram and you are on my page, all right? So I will do a post every day and they'll go up on here. But if you want to look at my IGTV, some of these posts will then be on IGTV. Or if I do a live, it might only go to IGTV. So then I click on that. Do you see that little TV arrow there? So I click on that and then I get all of the IGTV. So you can look at them like scrolling by hundreds, but there's something else you can do as well. Just here, it says the word series. Do you see that? So you click on that like that and it shows you all the series that we have. So there's all the series. So you can see there's exercise, there's the T-Zone, there's the makeover show, there's Star Clinic, there's the Fabulous Four, there's Closet Confessions. So if I go on to Closet Confessions, every single Closet Confession is there. I have done 50 Closet Confessions, ladies. All there. So easy, okay? It's, you can do that or go onto YouTube. Most of them are on both. Um, it just depends which platform you like to look at things on. Um, our, our, our products are, um, cruelty free. Yes. Um, 
What is BFF? BFF is our skin perfector and I developed it because I wanted to have something that would um, give my skin a kind of once over and give it protection as SPF 30, a little tiny glow and cover. Cover not like a heavy foundation, not like a tinted moisturizer, just this kind of glow, like you've just got a good skincare routine. So I put it on this hand here. There's it going on this hand. So it comes, starts as clear, and then you rub it in and it releases pigment, which becomes the color of your skin. So I'm doing light there, okay? So it gives a bit of cover, but it just gives a lovely finish. That's my grumpy hand and that's my BFF hand. You can just see the difference. And it's our top selling product, actually. Um, it's people kind of live and die by it. So uh, I'm really happy because, you know, I know how much I wanted it in my routine. And um, so I developed it and now you guys do, which is great. Is 33 too old for your junior copywriter position, Trinity London? Um, I would say age is irrelevant um, in any role, and I really think it should be irrelevant in any role, but you've got to have um, just the knowledge of what that role um, is advertised at, and that's to assist our lovely copywriter, um, Imi, and we just don't have backup for her when she's away, and it's just learning, learning the language of Trini London. So no, I would apply. If you feel you're qualified for it, please apply. Um, is it best to apply with warm fingers? No, you apply with any finger, wherever it's been, kind of. Just joined and not sure of the topic, but what do I think of the ordinary skincare? Um, we're discussing Gaia launch, by the way, launched today. Just if you're just joining us, here's Gaia and it's our new bronzer and we've just launched it today. Um, I love the ordinary. I think it's got some fantastic products in it. I've got favorites for sure. There's an AHA, BHA peel I like. There's a 1% retinol I like. There's a vitamin C 30% I like. Um, and I think that they were the first company to offer singular ingredients um, at an affordable price. And I think now you have other brands like Garden of Wisdom, GOW, um, The Inky List, uh, that are beginning to do that too. The formulations are simple, they're not complex. I think you pay for a serum that are over around the complexity of what's going in it. And you know what the ordinary has tried to own is the idea of one ingredient doing one thing. Um, so, yeah. What do I match to me? When you do match to me, you need to realize if you wear tan, you need to go darker. Yes, I mean, it's, it's true because when we um, ask you the questions on your skin tone, you've got to think, what skin tone do I want to give you? Because if you give me the skin tone that you are when you put on foundation and you use your foundation to be a different shade, we won't offer you that same foundation. We'll offer you one that is your skin color because I believe so strongly that if you, you know, if you're wearing foundation, it'd be the color of your skin. But if you're somebody who wears fake tan from a bottle and you wear it every single day, then that to you is the color of your skin. So then yes, I would choose um, the foundation to be that. But I would also, my little caveat, is that if you feel at any stage you think your base looks thick on you or you just feel your skin doesn't look great, what will immediately change that is if you actually do take off the fake color and embrace what your natural color is, wear foundations that are for that shade and then use blusher and occasional bronzer to give yourself back that sense of not looking washed out. Um, because it really will make a difference. And I, I can kind of literally look down the screen and guarantee you now that people come up to you and go, your skin looks so amazing. And I think we just get used to it. You know, I wore fake tan for 10 years on and off and my, I just got used to this, this, this color. So I, I, there were days I thought I was pale and I was an orange and it's not like that now. Thank God fake tan, because there's some very good ones. But still, there is something about embracing the color of our skin. It took me a long, long time to do that, whatever your skin shade is. Um, but it will give your skin an opportunity to breathe and look beautiful. Um, so I, that's my belief, is I want every woman to feel she has the most beautiful skin. Um, what do I use to clean my hands? I use, um, I use right now, I'm using a wet wipe, normally, because I need to do something quickly online. Um, I generally, we had these little, um, tiny little 
things that go in a teapot which you can use um, to clean the ends of your fingers. And we have the tea kit which is sold out now but coming back in September where you can apply your makeup um, with a stackable brush kit. But that's back, that's back the end of August, September. Um, oh my God, I gotta go, it's one minute to. Um, makeup, for any other makeup products, change the way you look and do makeup, there's no going back. If Ratty, that's such a nice thing to say, thank you so much. Um, what do I use for rosacea along with Miracle Blur? Just a touch. It's, you know, the amount of women who have had have rosacea and use our Just Touch foundation and just say it's a miracle because it just covers beautifully and I don't think I'm wearing a thick base. So Miracle Blur, I was highlighting earlier for a woman who had a little bit of scarring and put that on and then put the foundation on afterwards. Um, I'll do smoky eyes another day. I just want to say it's lovely to talk to you. It's really calmed me down. It's made me feel cosy. Um, whenever I talk to all of you guys, I feel you at the end of the phone and that just makes me feel better. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for um, putting me in a better space just by talking to you. And I, I miss, I haven't done lives for a bit and I think I just miss doing them. That's, that's what it boils down to. Um, so have a lovely evening. And if you've just woken up, have a great day. And if you're just about to go to bed, um, you should be asleep by now if you're in Australia, for sure. <laughs>